Welcome to the news again. Still talking about Nigerian constitution restructuring. If you are new on this page, kindly subscribe. And if you have been there, thank you for your support now and always. Nigeria needs new constitution and restructuring, says Olan Nekpekun, a former president of the Nigerian Bar Association, MBA Chief Wale Olan Nekpekun, senior advocate of Nigeria has asked Nigerians' political leaders to focus on restructuring the country by enacting a new constitution instead of talking about the 2023 election. Olande Pekun insisted that if politicians want to have a country to govern in 2023, they must begin the process of engaging the different interests and to agree on a working document that has the support of everybody the renowned legal practitioner who spoke to journalists in Lagos said the country still has two years and three months before May 2023 and that this is enough time to do something to save Nigeria from further degeneration. He, fought, he said failure to do that. If an Igbo man or a Yoruba man wins, we will witness the same thing we are experiencing under President Muhammad Buhari. Then where are we going? Is that a way to be the country? He asked. You cannot put something on nothing and expect it to stand. A constitution should be the de facto and the de jure, meaning in fact and actuality, in practice and theory, in honesty and sincerity. I'm familiar with social media to an extent, and I dis and I'm listening to Chief John Uodo the Minister of Information during the regime of former Head of State General Abdul Salami Abubakar, retired, who foisted this constitution on us. He said the constitution was drafted by about 47 persons, out of which 40 were military personnel. Is that the way it is done for 47 persons to prepare the constitution that governs a diverse nation like Nigeria? Elders of this country must stand up to be counted. Do we just want to live by the convenience of today and not think of tomorrow? What happens to our children and grandchildren? He asked. It is not the question of who is in power. It started since the time of Obasanjo when I was the president of Nigerian Bar Association. I led a team of lawyers to the then president, Chief Olusegun Obasanjo, and among the things we suggested to him, strategically, strategically, and patriotically the overhauling of the constitution. We also volunteered to assist him, but he didn't like it. I told him in clear terms that this constitution will not take us anywhere. It is sad that some people are not even ready for intellectual discourse, and that is why once they have a view different from yours, you become an enemy. Why are we treating Nigeria like a bastard? We are being unfair unjust, careless, and ungodly about this country. Well, do we really need a new constitution? My own take on this is in a country where there's injustice, where we vote for the wrong candidates instead of voting for the right candidates, when the allocation that comes to estates are not judiciously used, when we have more of looters, being praised instead of being castigated. Honestly, whatever constitution we have in this nation, when the rule of law is not applied in all ramifications, we may be clamoring for constitutional review and restructuring all the time. That is the view of Senior Advocate of Nigeria, Olan Nekpakun, and my own comment. Kindly make your own comment now and so like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for listening to the news.